how to pronounce idea in British English. In this British English pronunciation tutorial, I'm going to show you how to pronounce idea in British English. I'm going to show you the mistakes that you might be making with the sounds in the word. I'm going to show you why it might not be the sounds in the word that are making you find this word difficult and that it might be the articles. I'm going to show you how to stress the word correctly and then I'm going to show you how to integrate this word into phrases with correct pronunciation, correct stress, correct articles and most importantly confidence for you in English. So if you want to speak English with a clear British accent or you just want more confidence in English so that you can grow your career and feel confident every time you speak, in this tutorial I'm going to help you do just that. So how to pronounce idea in British English. Let's look at the sounds first of all. There are two diphthongs in the word idea. The I diphthong, which is the same pronunciation as this thing here, my I, and the ear diphthong, which is the same pronunciation of this thing here, my ear. Let me give you my two top tips for pronouncing diphthongs with confidence in English. The first thing is you want to stress the first part of the diphthong. So in I, you stress the first part of the diphthong, which is somewhere in between a and a, I. And in ear, you stress the first part of that diphthong, which is the i sound and not the schwa sound er, ear. You should be able to hear that that first part of the diphthong is stressed. I, ear, idea. The second thing is with both diphthongs, Diphthongs should be the same length as long vowel sounds in English. If you want to learn step by step how to make long vowel sounds in English and how to get the correct length for your vowels in English, I'll link a tutorial up here which will show you step by step how to do that or in the description of the video. But now we've got the two diphthongs, I and ear. Now all we need to do is add the D sound onto the beginning of the second syllable so you get I, dear. I, dear. Also, if you want a comprehensive training on how to say the word I, which is very important because that's the word that you're going to use very frequently every time you use English, again, look in the description below this video or up here and there's a tutorial for you on that. So, we've now got the correct syllables, I and dear. The next thing is how do we stress both syllables correctly? Well, I is the unstressed syllable in the word and dear is the stressed syllable in the word. So even though within the diphthongs there is a level of stress, the word itself also has a level of stress and we want to put that stress on the second syllable, dear. This is very, very important for getting correct English rhythm. And if you want to speak English more like a native, then learning English rhythm is very important and stressing syllables correctly is a very, very important part of that, okay? So let me say the word idea with the correct stress. Nice and slowly, follow along. Idea, 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 idea. If I now make that even more connected, you'd get idea. Imagine it's a wave. Idea. 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 One more time. Idea. So you now know how to pronounce idea in British. But here's the thing. If you're having difficulty with this word, it might not be because of this word. It might be because you're mispronouncing the articles in English that you would use with this word. So for example, if you're going to say the idea, or I have an idea, you may well be mispronouncing those articles, which is why you're finding this word tricky in English. So let me just show you how to pronounce the and an as you would if you were using those two articles with this word, in English speaking. Okay, we'll start with V, so we're going to say the idea. For example, I love the idea. We're going to say the TH sound, v, the voice TH sound, but we're not going to say V, which is the stressed version of V, and we're also not going to say the weak version of V, as we would say it before a consonant, which is the. 
Again, I've got tutorials on how to pronounce all three versions of V, which I'll link in the description. And I also show you in those tutorials how and when to use each one. So I recommend watching that, that's really important. But just on the subject of how to use the V that we're going to use with this word, we don't want to stress it. We want to make it unstressed. So we're going to say the idea. V wants to be as quiet and unstressed as the first syllable of the word idea. Okay, so we're going to say the I, the I, the idea. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. The idea. Okay. And the pronunciation of V, essentially what you're going to make is a weak E vowel in English. So you're going to put your mouth in the position of the long E sound, but you're going to make it unstressed and with short pronunciation. Most people think there's just two E vowel sounds in English, I and E, but there's also a weak I vowel, which we use in this word. So the pronunciation would be the, 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 like that. Not the, where it's stressed and long, and not the, where you're using the schwa instead. So let's now put these two words together. And follow along with me. The idea. The idea. The idea. The idea. Da 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 da. The idea. The idea. For example, I like the idea. Okay. I'll, I'll train you on how to put this into a phrase in a moment. Let me just give you the other article that you might use with this, which would be an. For example, I've had an idea. Okay, now again, you're not going to use the strong form pronunciation of the word an. You're not going to say, I've had an idea, because if you did, that would muck up your English rhythm and English stress in this phrase, okay? The only time you'd say an is if you were really trying to stress that word, and that word was the focus of this phrase. But the vast majority of the time, it's not going to be like that, and the focus of the phrase is going to be on the idea that you've had. So if you were going to say, I've had an idea, can you hear that I'm not stressing an and saying, I've had an idea? That sounds unnatural. Instead, what you want to say is, I've had an idea. I've had an idea. So basically what you're getting there is the N sound is lasting the length of the syllable that makes up an. So you're saying, I've had an idea. I've had an idea. I've had an idea. You can also think of that n sound as a schwa plus n, but the important thing with this is to make it unstressed. So had is stressed, an becomes unstressed and becomes n, then you get unstressed first syllable of idea, and then dear becomes stressed as well. So you get had an idea had an idea, had an idea. Slowly and connected, that would be, I've had an idea, I've had an idea, I've had an idea, I've had an idea. And the way that I've just said this here is with connected speech and stress. So what you've got there is, perfect flowing English with British rhythm, okay? So let me just give you two phrases now to practice this in all together, and then not only will you know how to pronounce idea with British pronunciation, but you'll also have learned how to use it with correct stress, correct articles, and you can then apply these articles to other words that you want to use in English. So very quickly, I've had an idea. I've had an idea. Follow along. I've had an idea. I've had an idea. Now the other phrase. This time we'll say, do you like the idea? We're going to use an upper intonation because we're asking a question that requires a yes or no answer. Do you like the idea? 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 Again, can you hear the stress on like? Then V is a little bit unstressed, I is a bit unstressed, and then dia is stressed. Do you like the idea? Do you like the idea? Do you like the idea? All right, and you can hear that upwards intonation on a idea, 
idea. If you want to learn step by step how to pronounce words with clear British pronunciation and then how to apply stress and connected speech and intonation to them so that you can speak English with a clear British accent and feel confident when you speak, then watch this playlist right here where I show you how to pronounce everyday words in your English speaking with a clear British accent and just like a native word. Learning this will not only teach you clear pronunciation in English, but it'll also make you confident because you're going to be speaking English in the same way that a native would. Okay, so check this playlist out right here. You're gonna absolutely love the videos and the words that you're about to learn. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you here in just a moment.